<laughs> and I was like, okay, and that was it. And uh, and it was incredible. And uh, and boy, uh, Chris was right. And, and Stephen even too said that Clint was the perfect director. Um, yeah, and that, that's how he started. And um, along with Rob Lorenz, his whole you know when he makes a movie, he brings his whole team, Tom Stern, and Rob Lorenz, and uh, just great group of people. And because uh, you were able to meet Chris Kyle, you just had a long conversation with him. What was the process like for you of becoming a character? What did you, beyond the book, what were you able to, to draw on? Um, did you meet people who knew him? Did you spend a lot of time with the, the real Kaya? Which will help us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Um, we, uh, you know, the, the, the representation of Chris that you saw up there is a, is a combination of so many people's efforts. Uh, Tim Monick, who's an amazing dialect coach, basically, we lived together for about two months, and this other guy, Jason Walsh, who was trainer, was uh, incredible in terms of, you know, gaining the weight and, and uh, that kind of strength. And and, um, and then Taya was valuable to us. Um, you know, we had access to so much material, source material, uh, videos. She had documented so much of their life uh, because, frankly, she was always scared that you never know if he was going to come back. So there's tons of video, tons of video that we watched, and we have their email exchanges. Um, and also, uh, you know, uh, Wayne and Debbie, his parents, uh, I got to know a bit, and, uh, and Jeff, his brother, and Taya, and Colton, and McKenna, their children, and their two dogs, and, you know, I got to spend time with Lothian, uh, Texas, Quinn and I went there and stayed in their house, and, you know, we, we, the access that we had was incredible, and, um, and also uh, Rick Wallace, who trained uh, Chris. Uh, cyber, uh, cyber, and uh, Kevin Lates, who actually plays Dog or plays himself in the movie, uh, was the guy that trained me, and we got to train with live ammo with the three weapons uh, that, that Chris used, uh, the 338 and the 300 when Megan and the Mark 11, and uh, it was just uh, a lot of people's work that went into that.